Over the past year, Delulu turned from a meme into a mindset. Millions of women claim they manifested dream jobs, ideal partners, even money, just by believing they already had it. It's called lucky girl syndrome, the idea that if you expect good things, they'll find you. At first glance, it sounds like sparkly nonsense, but under the glitter is something deeply scientific. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to use it. Because here's what nobody's telling you. Your brain has a filter called the reticular activating system. It's a search engine that only shows you what you tell it to look for. Tell it you're unlucky, it highlights every rejection and deletes every opportunity. Tell it you're lucky, it spots openings other people miss. You're not experiencing reality, you're experiencing your filter. And psychologists have known this for decades. It's called cognitive behavioral therapy. Your thoughts shape your emotions, your emotions shape your behavior, and your behavior shapes your results. When you change your story, you change your outcome. So maybe Delulu isn't ignoring reality, it's training your brain to create a better one. But here's where it gets wild. Your brain can't tell much difference between imagination and reality. That's why Olympic athletes visualize races before running them. Their neurons fire as if it's already happening. When you vividly imagine yourself succeeding, your brain starts coding that success into muscle memory. So when someone says, I'm Delulu enough to think everything works out for me, they're not escaping reality, they're reprogramming it. It's called confirmation bias. Your mind looks for evidence to prove whatever you believe. Think you're awkward? You'll remember every stumble. Think you're magnetic? You'll notice every smile, every opportunity, every door that opens. Same life, different filter, completely different results. It's not magic, it's neuroscience with glitter on top. And one woman proved it in eight weeks. She was 31, successful on paper, but dating emotionally unavailable men and invisible at work, despite being the most qualified. She tried everything. New wardrobe, louder in meetings, better dating apps. Nothing worked. Because she was changing the outside. Then she changed one belief. From, I have to prove my value, to, I am a woman whose presence is inherently valuable. That's it. One identity shift. She started acting from that belief stopped over-explaining her ideas, stopped replying to low-effort texts, started making decisions like someone who already had what she wanted. Eight weeks later, promoted. Four months later, engaged. Same woman, same job, same city, different operating system. And you can install that same system starting today. Here's how. Three steps. Each one builds on the last. Miss one, it doesn't work. Master all three, you become inevitable. Step one, declare your identity. Not a goal, goals are external. Identity is internal. Stop saying, I want to be confident. Start saying, I am a confident woman. What would she do right now? That single sentence changes your actions instantly. Why does this work? Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality. When you repeatedly declare, I am a woman who is valued, your brain accepts it as fact and seeks evidence to support it. This is neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire itself based on repeated thought patterns. Confidence isn't earned, it's declared. You don't wait to become worthy of success, you decide to be her first. But your brain will fight you on this, which is why step two is critical. Step two, catch and reframe. Your brain will immediately pull up every failure as proof you're not her yet. When you think, I can't, stop. That's your brain on autopilot running the old program. Reframe it. Swap I can't for I'm learning how. It keeps your brain curious instead of defensive. Then hunt for evidence of your new identity obsessively. Did you hold a boundary today? Evidence. Speak clearly in a meeting? Evidence. Choose yourself over convenience? Evidence. Write it down every single day because the act of recording tells your brain, this is important. Find me more of this. Through repetition, you're literally carving new neural highways. You're not faking confidence, you're building the neural infrastructure for it. Behavior rewires belief faster than affirmations ever can. But even this won't work if your environment is working against you. Step three, edit your inputs. You cannot become a new person consuming the same content, following the same accounts, talking to the same people who are committed to your old story. Unfollow what makes you feel less than, stop consuming content that reinforces your old identity, and here's the hard one. Limit access to people who say, be realistic every time you dream bigger. Your new identity is fragile at first. Protect it. You're not being mean, you're being strategic, because every input either reinforces the new program or crashes it. 
And here's what happens when you run all three steps together. Change your identity, your behavior changes. Change your behavior, your results change. Change your results, people's perception of you changes. And suddenly, you're not Delulu. You're just that woman everyone notices. Not because you got lucky, because you upgraded your operating system. But here's the question everyone's asking. What if I do this and it doesn't work? What if I just look stupid? Here's the truth. The line between delusion and vision is results. Every creator, founder, artist was called delusional until they weren't. And even if your exact vision doesn't manifest, you will have become a woman who believes in herself, acts with intention, sets boundaries, and commands respect. The only thing crazier than believing in yourself is not doing it at all. The real risk isn't being Delulu. It's waking up in five years with the exact same doubts, wondering what could have been if you just tried. So here's your test. The next 48 hours, live Delulu. Declare one identity statement. I am a woman who, fill in the blank, make it bold, then make every decision as if it's already true. What would she wear today? What would she say yes to? What would she decline? Do that thing. Catch every I can't and reframe it to I'm learning how. Hunt for one piece of evidence daily that supports your new identity. Being Delulu is the strategy when realism has become a cage. And if your realism has kept you small, stuck, and settling, maybe it's time to get a little delusional. The women who have everything you want didn't wait for permission or proof. They decided who they were and refused to negotiate. Belief turns possibility into momentum, and momentum turns delusion into destiny. Subscribe if you're ready to become her. Comment your identity statement right now. Let's reprogram our realities together. Because maybe the life you want isn't a fantasy. Maybe it's just waiting for you to believe it's already yours. Are you ready to be a little Delulu?